What is going on everybody? How's it going? So I got a new knife. I think you're gonna dig it. It's been on my list. Let's just say that. But to fully understand kind of how crazy this is, cause I'm actually EDCing this knife. I'm carrying this thing every day. Uh, in fact, I was carrying it just until just now when I took it out of my pocket for this video. But to fully understand this journey, you need to come over here and look at my knife collection. So most of this stuff is pretty small, right? The thing is, is this knife right here is the knife that started it all. This is a mini bug out because I did not want to carry anything bigger than a mini bug out. Like I was just like, I want something tiny that kind of disappears in my pocket. And so that was the knife that started all of this madness. And obviously, you know, we've gotten bigger and crazier and now the Chris Reeve Sabenza is one of my main carry knives and so is the PM2. I've been wanting to go down this whole fixed blade rabbit hole for a while. If you follow the channel at all, you'll know that I just picked up this Winkler SD1 and I absolutely love this thing. I've been carrying this quite a bit as well. And there was another kind of hmm, grail mid-tech, semi-custom, whatever you want to call it, or maybe it is a custom, I don't know, knife that's been on my list for quite a while. And that is, I basically wanted anything by Half Face Blades. This is the Half Face Blades Crow Junior. And uh, this thing is absolutely incredible. Now, <laughs> this is why this is so funny. I started off carrying the Benchmade Mini Bug Out and now I've got this darn thing in my pocket and it is a hefty piece of kit. Uh, G10 uh, scales with this really cool cut. Um, you would think that these would be hard on your grip, but man, they fit your hand. They're just so good, just so good. Got a little jimping on the top of the blade here. Obviously it's like a uh, clip point sort of deal. Um, really, really, really nice grind. Came sharp, sharp, sharp out of the box. Um, like I said, the grip is really good. Got a lanyard hole in the pommel down here, but I don't think I'll ever put a lanyard on it. Now this is uh, S35 VN steel. So unlike the Winkler, that is not stainless. This one is stainless, so uh, it's it got an interesting uh, Cerakote finish on it, and uh, it's like a gray Cerakote finish. Now you can get these in all kinds of different kinds of uh, finishes, but it's pretty cool. It's got the half face um, logo halfway on the blade there where it's supposed to be, and it is pretty freaking awesome. This is one of those knives that it takes a little bit to get one of these things, you know, as far as like the getting, well, they drop, I guess they drop weekly. Uh, I got lucky. The very first time I tried to buy one of these, it was available and boom, I bought it and there you go. Uh, it's phenomenally good. The fit and finish is fantastic. Um, the Cerakoting, I guess we could, oh, let me show you the sheath too. So the sheath is uh, this Kydex number here. Um, with this strap that goes around it and it's got a J clip metal J clip on it Which is actually really good. It retains like in the your pants pocket really well or on a belt really well um, It retains in the sheath really well if you want to tighten it up You just can tighten these screws and it'll tighten up on the blade just a little bit and make it a little bit tighter uh, It's suede lined it fits really well uh, It's a really really nice sheath now. There's a couple of negatives about this knife uh, that I have, not negatives, but well, there are a couple of things. Let's just get into it. Um, it's not perfect. There are a couple of, again, I don't want to call them problems, but just things I noticed that I was like, mm, I would do this different. One is there's no real thumb ramp to get the knife out of the sheath. So you have to pull it out of the sheath. Now I've figured out that you can use the side right here and push to get it out of the sheath. The problem is that when it's in your pocket, those are on the sides. It would be nice, like for example, the, the Winkler, when, when you're trying to get it out of the sheath, you just push with your thumb and it comes out, which I really, really like that about this Winkler sheath. It's really nice. 
um, where the half face blades sheath is just a little more cumbersome to get the knife out of, um, which is, I'm working my way around it. It's no big deal. I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, and then I'm trying to think, was there, there was one other thing that was bugging me about this thing. Oh, the other thing I'll tell you is this Cerakote finish is a Cerakoted finish. So it's not DLC, which means that if you use this knife, and I encourage you to use it and not have it be a safe queen or a dresser queen, uh, that you're going to get wear on the blade. There's going to be like little buffed spots from where it comes in and out of the sheath. So if you take it in and out of the sheath a bunch of times, you're going to see it on the blade. It's going to like buff these little spots. So this knife is not going to be perfect as soon as you start to use it. But like, to me, that's the point. I use everything that I have. There's there's like one knife up there that's kind of collector-y that I don't carry a lot. Most everything I have, I carry all the time. I use it all the time. I, I don't want to say I abuse it, but these fixed blades especially, I use them hard. So um, that is a thing. So if you are one of those people who's like trying to buy this knife for the status of it, then if you pull it in and out of the sheath a bunch of times, it's going to have some rub marks. Also, the Cerakote is, again, not DLC, so it's not 100% perfect. It's got a little bit of like orange peel in it in a couple of spots and stuff like that, which that could be a little bit cleaner for as much as this knife costs, honestly, that could be a little cleaner, but um, it's phenomenally good. This, I, I, I'm not complaining, I just noticed that for as much as this knife costs, you would think that the finish on the Cerakote would be a little bit better. And then also, I, I noticed too that mine has like a little tiny bit of a recurve up here by the sharpening choil, which means the way they originally sharpened this knife it just has got a little lump in the back right next to the sharpening choil, which I guess, depending on how they were doing it, I can maybe see why that would have happened. Um, I'm sure over time, as I use this knife and resharpen it, that'll go away and it'll straighten out. But those are just a couple of little imperfections that I noticed on the knife. Other than that, I think this thing is phenomenally good. The only thing that, like I said, kind of legit bugs me that's kind of actually a legit annoying thing is getting it in and out, uh, which I wish there was a, like a little thumb ramp right here but it it's fine it's totally fine i will say it's way heavier than the winkler uh s35 vn is going to be heavier than 80 crv so this has got some weight to it uh, the g10 is also very thick um but i absolutely absolutely love this knife and i'm super stoked to have it so anyway there you go just wanted to share my little half face blades experience with you i will put this back in my pocket as soon as we stop recording and carry it for the rest of the day because it is a phenomenal knife and as mostly when I'm wearing jeans because I have actual room for this thing it's gonna be either this or my Sabenza in my jeans so my Sabenza for the folder and this for my fixed blade and I am totally stoked I absolutely love this thing anyway thanks for hanging out and we'll see you in the next video